Walmart. We know Walmart because it has great deals. They have massive parking lots, they sell groceries, they made a movie. They made a movie. Well, technically, it's not a movie, it is a 23 part series. And I want to walk you through it because it's horrifying. It is really scary. And delete it. Yeah, Walmart deleted this movie completely from the internet. It is nowhere to be found, except this YouTube video. So now it's the only way you get to watch it. You're welcome. We live in a world where supermarkets can make movies and sell you a product every 30 seconds. Walmart calls it rom commerce. Get that? Rom commerce! Yes! It's called ad to heart. But okay, what, is, <laughs> what does that mean? That's what they came up with? Ad to heart? So let's watch this and see if it can convince me to buy one of their products. So we're in New York City and the main character's name is Jessica and she is an interior designer. Okay, Jessica, you're leaving now, right? Yep, I'm on my way. Oh, 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 she's, five seconds in, she's already selling us lip gloss. It's perfect. Teddy? Oh. Babe? She's so close to that. <laughs> One step closer, girl. Those bangs are gonna turn into micro bangs. Teddy? <sighs> if I was gonna propose to you and you let out that sigh, I am closing the box. Past six months with you have been the most incredible, magical, clarifying months of my life. You are the most. Oh, sorry. Jessica? Oh, okay, Teddy. Oh! I'm, I'm gonna need a minute. Um, and I should really go meet Claudia, otherwise she's totally gonna fire me. Okay. Okay. So Jessica ditches her so-called lover, and the next morning she goes to her apartment, where we meet her roommate. Oh my god, I was about to call missing persons, but Avi, I checked your location. I think what he's wearing, um, is the worst thing I've ever seen. Do they sell it at Walmart? Also, we meet her mom, who's back in Jessica's hometown and desperately wants her to come back for Christmas. Does this mean you're coming home? We can go to the Snowfall Festival. I can help Linda bake cookies. She has her own booth at the Snowfall I guess this turns into a Hallmark movie really fast. Or a Walmart movie. Wait, isn't your town super cute? It is. Home isn't the problem. Then what is? Oh, it's not a what, it's a who. It's all making sense. Girl with flashy job in the city doesn't want to go home for the holidays because a lover from the past is back home. But then Teddy shows up at the front door. Teddy. Then we find out Jessica's the best liar in the world. I ha I have to go home. Uh, my mom has um, cookies, stained glass, stuff I need to help Jess. with. I take it back. Eventually, she tells her boyfriend that she'll have an answer to the engagement after Christmas. We'll just circle back, you know. Girl, circle back on marriage? So then she ends up going to the airport and her roommate's also going on a trip to Miami. But, oh my gosh, her roommate's flight is canceled. So actually, he has to come along with her. Okay, but if she loses her luggage on this flight, I'm leaving. Here we are in the sweetest airport in the history of ever. Yeah, if only they had my luggage. Yeah. So then they order an Uber to her childhood home. Is it possible to add a stop at Walmart on the way? Absolutely. I can't imagine asking your Uber to stop at Walmart. Hey Uber, could you get my dry cleaning? Oh, and do my taxes. In the meantime, her mom's changing a flat tire when this guy shows up. Yeah, there's this weird side story about Jessica's mom talking to this guy. No impact to the story at all. Hey, you, you need a hand? Oh no. I got it, thank you. Well, how about a latte? Why not? <laughs> How do you take your coffee? Oh, wait. There is a reason for this episode. It's to sell us coffee, mate. Here you are. This is Will. He's my little helper while he's out of school. My mom says I make a mean mocha. Your mom. He really said, I got a mom. My dad is off limits. Uh, I'm David, by the way. Julie. Hi. Hi. Huh? So this entire episode was to sell Coffee Mate and Infidelity. Got it. In the meantime, Jessica's Uber dropped her off at Walmart. Okay, now they can really sell us some stuff. They're like in Walmart, so what could happen? Oh, Buffalo check flannel. I just decided this is so me. Have fun. I will. Mm. Yes. 
Then Jessica runs into this magical Walmart employee. She's a total diva. Jessica chases the Walmart diva down and runs into her hometown childhood lover in the same Walmart. And his name is Javi. Hi. <laughs> that was the longest pause ever. And boom, clap playing is the cherry on top. Then Michael, Jessica's roommate, runs into Javi and Jessica. Michael is my boyfriend. Yes, uh, I am. I, uh, I live in a cabin, so I came down here from the woods to pick up some supplies. You know how it is. Yes, my boyfriend is so... <sighs> Anyways, Javi didn't come to Walmart alone. I found the perfect game for the party. Oh no, he has a kid. Look at Jessica's face. She went, oh sh Look at her face. She's like, Jess, you remember my sister, Isabel. Oh, oh, well, okay. Uh, we'll see you around. For show. Even after saying something like for show, Javi offers to drive them home. Does the happy couple need a ride? Yes. Oh. I'm not used to the cold, yeah. Love to ride. Okay, let's go. Go, babe. He's not actually my boyfriend. Oh, really? You don't say. Oh, he's like, well, yes. Then Javi drops them off at her childhood home, and we see all the childhood lore. Like, photo booth pictures, their prom photo. But she has a boyfriend back in New York. Oh, but you can buy that pillow at Walmart. But downstairs, Jessica's mom and Michael are gossiping about why Javi never went to New York with her. He never showed up to the airport. Why not? I don't know. Wow, I wonder if we'll ever find out. Now we're at the Snowfall Festival and everyone's there. Michael is TikToking. Jessica and Javi are i each other. And the mom meets the married husband. Hey, so um, I was thinking, as we're both going to the festival tomorrow night, maybe we might want to call it a date. Sir! Oh, uh, okay, um, you're not, you're not married to... Um... Man defies reason, but uh, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. They don't explain this at all. He's just like not wearing his ring. The kid mentions their mom, but he's just like, I'm single. I like, and she just goes with it. There was no point to that. Meanwhile, Jessica shares a moment with Javi that's almost too cheesy for Hallmark movies. You look exactly the same. Come here. Hi. You were always his favorite. Hi. 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 I thought you might want to ask me to help you decorate this. You're telling me they're gonna work together on this? It could only mean one thing. Marketing montage! Yes! Turn on the music! Climb on that ladder! Oh yeah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> he's drilling that, like, they're selling a drill and a ladder and lights, and, like, in the meantime, she's, like, touching him. This is... This is a crazy way to sell product. Use the heart drill! Get it done! Oh, look at... <laughs> oh, flirt through a ladder. Cause you can't see through a ladder. Let's sell you a ladder by flirting through it. Also, what do they do? Like, what are they doing? She's just twisting bulbs that are already in and feeling the ultimate euphoria. <laughs> then they light up the snowball festival. Three, two, one! Can I be so honest? I don't think a small town that she comes from would be saying happy holidays. It would be very much Merry Christmas. The gazebo was a success. The town is happy. They must fall in love now. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I mean, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do this. I'm sorry. I really thought they were gonna make it. Also, can I buy that beanie on Walmart? Now there's no way they'll end up together. But at the Snowball Festival, there's a gingerbread house making competition and you have to work in pairs of two. So guess what ends up happening? Javi and Jessica, go get your gumdrops. Oh, I did not sign you up for this. So that was a really short twist because I really thought it was, <laughs> really thought it was over for them. So they're back together and joke about their gingerbread house. So is this little house about the size of your apartment in New York? What does that mean? Oh, I just hear apartments in New York are small as all. Well. Never mind. Why did he have to say that? Wow, that was fun. I almost made you fall in love with me again, huh? By the way, is this little shack as small as that closet you live in that dumpy old city? This makes Jessica remind Javi that he ditched her at the airport to go to New York City. As I'm editing this, I'm realizing how boring the details are, so I'll just summarize it. Javi's mom got sick, so he stayed in hometown 
and didn't go to New York. Javi's mom explained to Jessica and then invites her to a Christmas Eve party. So in the next episode, they're getting ready for the party, including Jessica's mom. So what does that mean? Commerce montage. Woohoo! Ooh, can I buy that? Mario Badesco, that must be at Walmart. A fun hat. Now the reveal. Okay. Wait. If Walmart can do all that, let's see what Target can do. Also, Jessica just decided she's not going to the party even after that conversation with the mom. She is a stubborn girl, and I respect that. Next, Jessica is home all alone. I wonder what could come next. Who could it be? Ho, 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 Santa's here. Thank God, a Walmart employee. And she brought Jessica a gift. But what does she give her? Every Cinderella who's late for the ball needs her shoes. Oh, okay, maybe not those. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not those. Can that girl... Hello, can you come back, get me new shoes? So then she goes to the party, she has to take a phone call, but enters... <gasps> Javi's childhood bedroom. Does he still live in that room as like a 30 year old like keeping those measurements up? She also sees something out the window. It's Javi and Jessica's childhood treehouse. That's the treehouse she decorated. <laughs> Was this not a sign that you shouldn't have been an interior designer? Like. So she goes inside and revisits memories while Javi's waiting outside. But then Javi's dad comes and asks them to pick up groceries at Walmart. And it'll go just as planned, right? Guess what happens? The magic Walmart worker locks them in the store. Why, you ask? They never tell you. <clears throat> Maybe they can use their phones for help. We need to call someone, and I don't have my phone. You call. Oh. I left my phone at the house. This is how I imagine this. We're locked in a Walmart! We're locked in a Walmart. Woo! Woohoo! Hey. <laughs> okay. The fact they're doing this in silence. <laughs> this music is not playing. So then he makes her dinner at the TV fireplaces, but she's tempted to reveal she has a boyfriend back home. I have something to tell you. Jessica! Perfect timing! But she doesn't tell him she's about to be engaged. The next episode is called Three's a Crowd, so you can probably guess what's about to happen next. Yeah. It's Christmas morning, <laughs> and everyone's there. Well, who is that on Christmas morning? It's alright, Mom. I'll get it. Mary? <laughs> I forgot about him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> So, the boyfriend slash fiance is about to propose, but Javi sees this hiding behind a tree. <gasps> uh, Go! Hide. Let's open Again! So they meet in the kitchen where she reveals how she truly feels. I can't marry you. Like, ever? You mean? I'm sorry. That goes down as one of the stupidest questions ever. Like, ever? Yeah, twink. So there's only one last thing to do. Text Javi to meet her at the gazebo. I dare you to meet me at the gazebo. <laughs> we can't do this anymore. Dot, dot, dot. Have a safe trip home. Oh. She's like, why did I drive all the way out to this gazebo? <laughs> You're about to freeze to death, girl. So that's a cliffhanger, but then immediately the next episode. Javi, I think you're being given a second chance. Oh, okay, well, that resolved itself quickly. Jessica's Uber to the airport literally drops her back off at the gazebo. Are we picking up another passenger? I think there might be something waiting for you on the gazebo. What could it possibly be? Oh my gosh. A tree house in a snow globe surrounded by New York City. I'm gonna make a wild guess. I don't think anyone would buy this at Walmart. Mm. Truth or dare? <laughs> She's like, Truth, did this take you five minutes to make? Truth is, I love you, Jessica. Oh, okay. Always have. That was a really unromantic kiss. <laughs> like, he's just kind of leaning towards her. Oh, it, 
And it finally snows. This is just so magical. Oh, shop this part and more. What was there to buy? Uh, it better not be this. And then the final episode, it's one year later, and she started a design store with her roommate, who's the social media influencer. Uh, <gasps> he's gotta propose to Jessica. Also, why is he saying to keep it a secret? He's literally holding it wide open at this party. And watch him propose. He's about to propose. He's gonna propose. Okay. Well, all right. Hi, Walmart. Okay. So you're telling me Miss Cupid couldn't get us to see him propose, but she could wink on a billboard? So that was Add to Heart. We never actually saw them get engaged, but it's fine. It's fine. Hey, only 23 episodes. Anyways, thanks for fighting your way through this video. I really hope you sort of enjoyed it because I had a very hard time watching this. I don't know when I'm posting this, but happy holidays regardless.